Okay, this is for profit and loss for the year 11 general class. So we're talking about uh, financial maths, profit and loss. And so businesses obviously need to make money. They derive their income from profits they make on products or services. And so how well the business does is decided by the size of the profit or the loss. And so we need to be aware of two things. And we need to know the definition of cost price. That's the cost to buy a particular product. So what, say, a shop spends to buy goods, like anything from a supplier. And then the selling price is what that shop would then sell that product on to people for. So we've got cost price and selling price. So whether a company or a business makes a profit or a loss is found, is decided by working out the difference between the cost and the selling prices. Okay, so if the selling prices is greater than the cost price, then the company makes a profit, and vice versa. If the cost price is greater than the selling price, then we have a problem, and so the company is going to go bust. All right, so you want the cost price. We need cost price to be less than the selling price for profit. Yeah, that's the profit to happen. And for us to have a smiley face, kind of thing. All right, and it's often it's useful to find the profit or loss as a percentage percentage of the cost price or of the selling price. It depends on what sort of information we want to say. We want to say, well, what percentage of the selling price is profit or loss? Or how much have we made on top of the cost price? It depends on what you're looking for. So just also what the question asks, and make sure you read the question carefully. So we'll do a couple of examples. So if we move ourselves down here. Remember, these notes are available online, so you can look at them as you go, or you can also write these down and stop the video whenever you like. So the first example, let's change the color to black. So Julie bought an artwork for $4,500 and three years later sold it for $5,200. What is the profit or loss on the artwork and find it as a percentage of the selling price? Well, so it's going to be a profit because she sold it for more than she bought it for. So the profit is, well, $5,200, what she sold it for, minus $4,500, which is what she bought it for, and that is $700. Okay, so we can see that $700. Now we want to find the $700 as a percentage of the selling price. Okay? So if we go ahead and do that, we say, well, as a percentage, we have to work it out. So it's 700 over the selling price, which is 5200 That's what we're interested in. So we do over 5,200 multiply by 100. Because we're trying to find a percentage. Equals, and if we work that one out, let's have to pull out my calculator. Calculator, calculator. So we have 700 divided by. 5,200 multiplied by 100 equals 13.5 percent. So we end up with 13.5 percent. So what that's saying is that the percentage of the selling price that is profit is 13.5 percent. So that's not too bad. It's doing pretty well. So then if we move down to the next one, Tom bought stock for his plumbing supply business. $12,000. So remember, if he bought it, he's the supplier, he, he bought it for $12,000. That's how much it cost him, and so that's the cost price. He went through a tough time and ended up reducing prices and selling the stock for $9,500. That's the selling price. Find the loss he made, and then as a percentage of the cost price, and as a percentage of the selling price. So this is also interesting, just taking out of the language. You make a profit. 
Yeah, that's an interesting thing. Fine. Important thing just to take note of the language we lost you make. Okay, so thicker. So we want to find first the profit or loss. It's a loss in this case. So let's find the loss. So it's the cost price in this case, which is bigger. Twelve thousand minus nine thousand five hundred. And that is equal to $2,500. So that's the first thing. Now we want to find it as a percentage of the cost price. So let's do that. Percentage of cost price. So if we go ahead and do that, we can find that very easily. So we say $2,500 divided by cost price, which is 12000 times 100 equals, look okay, down the calculator, so 2,500 divided by 12,000 times 100 is equal to 20.8. So 20.8%, or we can just say it's 21%, close enough, the nearest percent. Here's the whole number, and then the percentage of selling price. So the loss is still the same, it's 2,500. But the selling price is 9,500. So we find that out, 9,500 times 100, oopsie. Okay, so we multiply by 100. That equals calculator. So we have 2,500 divided by 9,500 multiplied by 100. That equals to 26.3. Alright, so we just do 26.3%. Or 26 percent, the nearest percent. Okay, so that's it. Those are the two examples. You just need to go ahead and work on exercise 3.4 from your books. It's on page 100 and. Three and four. If you have any questions, let me know. Okay. Enjoy.